Hey, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to connect a five gallon of CO2 to your soda stream. But before I get started, go ahead and check me out at mattiesreviewchannel.com. Stay tuned. All right, so I got this five gallon of CO2 at my local welding shop. A lot of places saying go to a hardware store or a, a sporting goods store. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect my CO2 canister to my SodaStream Fizzy. I did purchase the cables for this. If you're interested in these cables, I will link the details in the description. So first off right here is your SodaStream connector. This is the adapter. Without this, you will not be able to connect this to your soda stream. You can see right here, it has the same threadings as the back of the soda stream. Go ahead and focus on this. And then the other side, you will connect this to the CO2 canister. You can see the threading is made for the O2 canister. So now I'm just going to go and take off the back of the soda stream machine and I do have an, a CO2 canister already in the back it is half full because I just put this one on but I wanted to switch it out with the five gallon you can see it's got the same threading So now I just got this finger tight and then I have to connect it to the CO2 canister. Remove the top and then just go ahead and it does finger tight. I would recommend using a wrench because you want it a little bit more than finger tight. So we're just going to go ahead and tighten this up. Now I'm using my wrench to make sure it's completely tight because before I used the wrench, a little CO2 was coming out. So I'm just going to tighten it up a little bit. And then once it's tightened, I will go ahead and turn it back around and go ahead and dispense my CO2 into making my soda. Now I'm going to turn the valve on. Now that I have dispensed my CO2 in my drink, I'm going to go ahead and put in my Sprite mixture. And then of course I'm going to shake it up a little bit to move the syrup around. And then I will open it up and you guys can hear the CO2 as if you were cracking a bottle of soda. Just mix it really good. Make sure not to shake it too quick or it will pop open. So let's go ahead and open up the bottle. And there you have it, homemade soda. No need to turn these in. The canister's in at Walmart or your local store paying $20 a bottle where you can get a five pound bottle at your local hardware store or your local welding. A lot of places do not say you can go to a welding place because it's got bad elements in it. I would say that is wrong. Go ahead and go to your local welding shop. Just make sure they have 99.9% .9 CO2. Because CO2, no matter where you get it, it's the same thing. Um, in order for this to work, you definitely have to have the adapter, which I will link all the details in the description. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And go ahead and hit that little notification button so you get notified every time I upload a new video. Also, check me out at MattiesReviewChannel.com. Thanks for watching.